What is good, everybody? Today, we're diving into my WWE Royal Rumble 2024 predictions for you guys, and I'm very excited for this, and I'm actually recording this on Wednesday night, so if I leave out a matchup or two, or maybe some of my information may be a little bit incorrect on certain things, it's because I'm recording this prior to Friday Night SmackDown. Maybe they announce something, maybe they do something like that, but the Royal Rumble is one of my favorite pay-per-views, and I'll actually be there in person in Tampa. If you guys are going to be there, definitely look for me. Don't know what the hell I'm wearing just yet, but you know what? We'll figure that out. But if you see me, please stay stop and say hello or whatever the hell you want to do. But today we're diving into the Royal Rumble. Very excited for it. Very unpredictable, I think, and I cannot wait to dive into it, man. So what we're going to do is go through every single match on the card, and I'm going to break it all down for you, give you all the info I think, and I'm going to predict this show from start to finish and tell you what I think is going to take place on Saturday night. All right, man, so let's start things off with the Women's Royal Rumble matchup. I will go through all of the announced entrants, and then we're going to tell you guys who I think could be some surprises, and then I'll get into who I think is going to win the matchup. Of course, Bailey, Nia Jax, Becky Lynch, Bianca Belair, Maxine Dupree, and Ivy Nile all announced for this Royal Rumble. Now, of course, we do know that it's going to be full of some surprises. I think we're going to get some current stars. You guys know the lore of the Royal Rumble matchup, but let's get into who I think is going to be some surprise entrants in this thing first, and then we'll get into who I think is going to win. All right, so starting up first, I think that Trish Stratus could obviously be a surprise entrant into the Women's Royal Rumble. Has it been gone that long? I think that it would be an interesting return. You could have her mix it up with Zoe Stark and whatnot. Also, where you have Trish, you also have Lita, I think. Lita could also return there. That Again, these really wouldn't shock me, but they would be, I mean, quote-unquote, they would still be, uh, they still would be surprise interests. this damn basic Lita about to fight everyone. But yeah, those are a couple there. One that I would really like to see, and I'm gonna go ahead and lay it out there, I would love to see Mandy Rose potentially return. I think that Mandy Rose would be a really cool surprise for the Women's Rumble, and I think the pop would be insane. I think another one we're gonna see is Liv Morgan. I think she's gonna make her return to WWE here, of course, following her trouble that she got into. So I think Liv Morgan could also return. I think a really cool surprise entrant and one that kind of has a, you know, some things up in the air. But I think they could make it work if, you know, both sides wanted to do so. I would have Naomi return, man. I think Naomi returning would also be really cool. So I would have Naomi. I'm going to predict that Naomi returns. And the last surprise entrant that I think we're going to get is going to be none other than Jade Cargill. Jade will make her WWE debut in this Royal Rumble match, man. That's what I'm going to predict. God, heaven, look how much she towers over this whole entire pile here. But I do have Jade as a surprise intro. That's definitely going to happen. But nonetheless, man, let's get into who I think is going to win. I, I mean, I think Final Four, you're probably looking at probably Bianca, Bailey, Becky Lynch, and Jade. And I think at the end of the day, I think that Bailey is going to eventually win the Royal Rumble. I think Jade and Bianca are going to take each other out. And then Bailey will eliminate Becky, winning the Rumble. And we are going to get EO Sky versus Bailey. And then we will have our championship. I think we'll have Rhea versus Becky, and we will have Bailey versus EO, and then we will see where it goes from there. But that is my predictions for the women's Royal Rumble match. Next up, we have the United States Championship match. Logan Paul defending against Kevin Owens, man, and my God in heaven. I am over the Logan Paul stuff. I, I really, I mean, I, I don't really want to get into it. So you have one of my least favorites. I mean, I don't even consider him a wrestler. Versus one of my favorites. Kevin Owens. I love Kevin Owens, as you guys know. And I would love to see Kevin Owens walk out with the United States Championship, being there in person to see him capture that and everything would be amazing. But I'm going to say that Logan Paul is going to retain. I think that we're going to carry this thing into Mania. And I think Kevin Owens is kind of a stepping stone. I think at WrestleMania, they could potentially do John Cena versus Logan Paul, maybe. I don't know, something like that to get a bunch of clicks. But I don't know. I just hate the spectacle that it is. It's not like, I don't know. I just don't like the spectacle that this entire thing is, man. And so I, I would love to see Kevin Kevin Owens win, but I don't think they're going to give it to him, man. I'm going to predict that Logan Paul does retain in some ridiculous fashion, probably by cheating, and then they'll probably get a rematch later down the line, maybe into Mania, but oh man, Kevin Owens... I'm predicting Logan Paul does defeat Kevin Owens, unfortunately. Next up, we do have the Fatal 4-Way match for the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Roman Reigns defends against Randy Orton, AJ Styles, and LA Knight. On paper, I really like this matchup. I hope that it does deliver. Very excited for this matchup indeed, but I don't think we can get the, the storylines and the things that we want to see personally. I don't think we're going to see that without Roman Reigns as champion. Now, if they're going to do the Rock and Roman thing, I don't think it necessarily needs the championship. I think that writes itself, but a Apparently, there's a report that Roman will not be at Elimination Chamber, which would mean that Rock and Roman at Chamber is not going to happen. So, sheesh, man. I have no idea. If Roman's not going to be at the Elimination Chamber, that would mean that Rock would have to get to Mania somehow. And I don't think he's going to go through an Elimination Chamber matchup to get there. I think that he would win the Royal Rumble, potentially, but... 
I don't think that AJ, LA Knight, and Randy Orton really make sense going into Mania. I mean, you could make a case that AJ Styles versus Cody would be dope for the championship, and maybe Randy versus Cody would be dope for the championship, giving the legacy ties and stuff like that, but I don't know, man. I'm just not really feeling that. I don't think that's going to be the case here, so I'm going to go Roman Reigns to retain, probably pinning LA Knight along the way if I had to guess, but it doesn't really matter who he pins, man. He's going to walk out with the Undisputed Championship, predicting that fully. And that's what I got for the Undisputed Championship match. I just don't see a world where Roman Reigns loses this matchup. And last but not least, man, we're diving into the 30-man Royal Rumble, what it is all about here. Now, we only have, I think, 11 entrants announced so far, and this is before Friday Night SmackDown, like I said, so there could be some other entrants left off of here, but we already know that there's going to be plenty more that are just regular current roster guys. It's not like they're going to be 19 different surprises, right? So here's the field as of recording. Cody Rhodes, CM Punk, Shinsuke Nakamura, Bobby Lashley, Drew McIntyre, Gunther, Chad Gable, Otis, Akira Tozawa, Kofi Kingston, and Damian Pryor. So there's plenty of surprises probably to be had, but I'm sure half of the field at least will probably be announced before the Royal Rumble match is fully commenced. But what we're going to do first is we're going to dive into some people that I think could potentially be surprises, who I think will actually be surprises, and then we'll get into who I think is going to win. But this year's super unpredictable, man. I'm very excited for it. I love all the lore around the Royal Rumble as it is, but when you throw in that surprise element and how unpredictable it is, it really gets it going, man. I mean, there's so many different things that could take place, and I'm very excited for the action, man. But let's dive into who I think could be some potential shock returns or surprises here. So I guess I could start off with the ones that I think actually will happen, and then we'll get into ones that potentially could also happen. But the first predicted surprise that I think we'll see is Brock Lesnar. I think that we will see a returning Lesnar, and I think that he will set up his Mania feud, preferably with Gunther, but we will have to see. The next surprise entrant that I do actually believe we are going to see in this Rumble is going to be Andrade Cien Almas. I think we will see a returning Andrade. Makes the most sense. I think there's a lot of different cool storylines you could do there. Santos Escobar, Rey Mysterio, tying back to originality. Definitely some things that could take place here with Cien Almas. Another surprise entrant that I think we will see is going to be Jimmy Uso, man. I think Jimmy Jimmy Uso does show up in this Royal Rumble, and him and Jay are going to clash. Maybe some solo, some bloodline tie-ins. Maybe he returns in the Fatal 4-Way. Jimmy Uso showing up in some capacity this weekend. And the next big surprise, and probably, um, I probably have like two more predictions here. The next one is going to be Matt Cardona. I think Matt Cardona does show up here. Fellow figure collector and content creator. Matt Cardona showing up makes the most sense. He's been killing it on the indies for a few years, and I think it just makes the most sense, man. Chelsea Green is in WWE, so it only makes sense for Matt Cardona to come over, and I think he will be known as Matt Cardona. I think that's what he's going to stick with, and going into WrestleMania season, this will be huge, and I think it'll be an epic return. Matt Cardona, the broski, does return here. And the last surprise entrant that I think we will see, man, and as crazy as it is or may seem, I think we are going to see Dwayne The Rock Johnson as the number 30 entrant. As crazy as it is, and I mean, they may not do this, but I did go into this saying that this could be the most stacked Rumble ever in terms of value and name and talent. We'll have to see about that because that'll get into some potential surprises that I think we may see, but The Rock, I think, is going to show up going into Mania. Just think it really writes itself. I mean, he didn't come back to TV and say the thing about attacking the Tribal Chief for no damn reason, so I think that we are going to see Rock in this Royal Rumble match at possibly number 30, maybe before that, but I would see him as the number 30 entrant. He comes out, maybe he wins, maybe he doesn't, but we're going to get into my predictions, but let's get into some other potential surprises that could take place that I don't necessarily think is going to happen, but could possibly happen. The first one is going to be Big E. Would love to see Big E return, but, you know, it's just on the table. It's a potential surprise we could see. One that would pop me hard, man, is going to be none other than John Cena. Setting up WrestleMania feuds and whatnot, I could see John Cena returning here at the Royal Rumble making some noise. I really want to see him and Punk clash and really, like, cross paths. Maybe him and Rock and whatnot, but I'm not holding my breath, but it's, it's potential. You know, I, I don't completely take out the idea. Another name I've seen thrown around, man, is going to be Stone Cold Steve Austin. Another insane number 30 entry that would would be. We did see him return at WrestleMania 38, and he looked damn good in that matchup. I actually really enjoyed that, so to see him here in the Rumble would be a great thing to see as well. Hearing the glass shatter and the reaction it would get would be epic, but 
It's not one that I predict is going to happen, but it certainly could. And the last one that I, I honestly want to say that I think it's going to happen, this last one, I would love to see Rhea Ripley in the Men's Royal Rumble. We've seen it before with Nia Jax. I would really love to see Rhea Ripley in the Men's Royal Rumble. Maybe do a really cool spot. Maybe Gunther could give her some chops or something. I don't know. I think it would just be amazing, man. Imagine her taking a Claymore kick or a GTS or a Crossroads or hell, a rock bottom, bro. Like, I just think that would be epic. And to see her eliminate some people would be really cool. So Rhea Ripley, I think, could also take place. And I, I really, I kind of feel like she will do that, but I don't, I'm not going to hold my breath nonetheless. Let's get into who I think is going to win this thing, man. I think you're, you're really coming down to a few different winners here, and I don't think that it's a massive variety. I think you have maybe three or four guys that actually could win the Royal Rumble this year. So I guess I can narrow it down to who I think could potentially win. You have my man Cody Rhodes right here for sure. I think The Rock is another certainly up there to win. As cool as it would be to see Matt win, I don't think Cardona's bringing it home this year. CM Punk, obviously, and then I would think, I think Drew McIntyre would, I'd say Gunther, but being IC champion, I guess he could lose the championship, and they did tease Rollins versus Gunther, but that could go down the line, but I think it comes down to one to five men, I mean, you could even put Gunther up here, F it, let's bring Gunther forward here, I think you're looking at one of these five win men winning, and I have a pretty good track record of predicting who's going to win the Royal Rumble, oh man, this is difficult. I'm going to predict that at number 30, The Rock returns and he wins the Royal Rumble. And I know that's absurd, but I, I that's what I'm predicting, man. I'm going to go with Rock. If he didn't actually show up on WWE television and kind of tease this matchup with Roman Reigns, I wouldn't think about it. But I genuinely think that since he did show up there and people, I mean, obviously people have him in their minds, but he hasn't been on TV since. I don't think he's been on TV since. I know it's ridiculous. I could also see Punk or Cody winning, but I think that's going to be the downfall. I think maybe Cody and Punk go at each other so much that they end up eliminating themselves and The Rock wins the Rumble. And maybe Cody Rhodes can do something else to, to you know, right his story. It also wouldn't shock me to see CM Punk win, who I think are the concrete three. Oh man, it's very difficult here. And Rock's not even confirmed, and I'm really throwing a shot in the dark here. But and it would be really cool to see The Rock get eliminated by Punk, given their history. I don't freaking know. That's what makes it so difficult, man. But I think that is my prediction. I know it's completely out of left field. It really is. And I really don't like it necessarily, but I don't know, man. I, I really don't freaking know. We're going to have to wait and see here. But, but I think that pretty much wraps up my Royal Rumble 2024 predictions, man. Again, this Royal Rumble, very unpredictable. Super unpredictable. I have no idea where the hell they're going to be going with this thing, man. I'm legitimately on the fence, man. There's so many different things they could do, some swerves they could make. There's a lot of guys vying for those final little positions at WrestleMania and championship matches, so I'm just really, really intrigued to see how it all breaks down, of course, but nonetheless, man, that is pretty much going to wrap up the video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know where your thoughts are down in the comments section below, of course. Huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate all those fellas over there for their continued support as always hope to see some of you guys down at the royal rumble in tampa again i will be there man if you guys see me or whatever man you want to talk chat and what have you please please feel free to come up and chat man always appreciate you guys coming up and talking whether it's figures whether it's wrestling man always down for it man but that is going to wrap it up man thank you for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys i'll see you guys next time have a blessed one and i'll catch you later <laughs>